is just gets a shot to the face. Now, again, we saw this yesterday. Lackadaisical errors from both teams really cost them. Well, they got to be better than that. Well, that's a shot right to the chops. And now Morales on the ball gives up to Suarez. Suarez down the middle. Gets away with a few steps there. Goes baseline now. Dish off to Pereira and another turnover. As Lopez secures it and now Capitanis can get out on the run. Dish off to the corner. Doesn't take the three-pointer. Well, puts it behind his back now. Gives back to Lopez. Lopez kicks in the corner. Now they get the wide open shot. The three is up. The three is tucked away. Oh, beautiful penetration in the lane. Just spots Emmett wide open in the corner. We well, hit a few of those last night. And now Morales looking for Arnold Louis. Well, oh, takes a long, long two way off the mark. Doesn't get it. Now a long rebound. Well, heavily guarded now. Makes a bit of contact. Puts a shot up. Draws a foul. So it's a smart move. He's going to go to the free throw line now for two shots. Oh, Andre Emmett, sorry, the three-pointer was from Victor Rudd, not Andre Emmett. Andre Emmett now will go to the free-throw line for two shots. Good thing about both coaches now had very interesting things to say about getting to this level and how well they prepared themselves this season. It's always great when you're the underdog and you really manage to sort of Push yourself through two stages. And again, Capitan Sarasibo hosted the group stage last season. We had Ricky Sanchez, local, playing for them. And they weren't able to win any of their games in the group. And it's a big step up for this team. And you know, think about how to prepare, what changes. I mean, not too many changes. Probably much more additions need to be made. Morales now, a few seconds, has to take it in. Goes up, dish it off, and another turnover. And now Capitanis can push. Emmett goes up with a little teardrop, and he just sinks it. Tanis Arecibo now lead this one 7-0 in the first two minutes. Suarez now again giving up some opportunities. He loves to take those three-point shots. He just takes it in. Gives it a finger off the left, but just looks like he's lacking a bit of confidence in his perimeter shot. I mean, the problem is it's about the quickness of the release, how well you get the shot off. In a pressure situation, he's got to shoot that. Troy Gilda now takes in the lane, throws it away again. Second turnover for Gilda. And now Suarez can break. Suarez just off to Arnold Louis now, takes the three in the corner, doesn't get it. Offensive rebound, and Pereira turns it over. Well, Arnold Louis did make some big three pointers in the group stage that cemented their position here in the semifinal round, but again, was very cold from the perimeter last night. Doesn't get and they secure the rebound and now they can break again. Morales now kicks it to Louis. Almost turns it over. Keeps it alive. Well, he's got time and space. Pulls up from 15 feet. Can he get it? This time it's nothing but net. Orlando Louis now gets his first two points of the game. He's now one for three from the field. Comes off a screen now, looking for the roller down low. Bit of contact, goes up with it, just sinks it. That's a strong move by Lopez. Lopez just cemented his position in the low block. He just used the contact to go up. Really could have got an M1 there. Morales now on the ball. And Morales now throws it down low to Pereira. Pereira backs down, he's got to go up with it. Pereira gives a little teardrop, and it's nothing but net by the big man. And that's a lot better now. You can see just going at the defense. With the back down post play. Well, spins baseline. Gilda now has got to kick it out. And he's wide open. Pulls the trigger from the perimeter. Doesn't get old. In and out. Can't get it. And he goes out of bounds. It's a lot better from Capitanis to Arecibo. And now Franco Morales is going to bring the ball up. Morales heavily guided by Pizarro. You can see Pizarro just putting a lot of ball pressure. 
Suarez now this time pulls the trigger. That's the Suarez we remember. And this guy can't shoot the ball from the perimeter. Again, confidence, just believing in yourself. Great shooters, they'll always shoot the ball. And again, hopefully he can get a few more good looks out of him this evening. Well, Gilda now takes it down the lane, draws a foul. Now the foul was on the ground, so it will be a baseline ball to Capitanis Arecibo. They can see Suarez elevates high, follows. I mean, it's a beautiful jump shot. This guy's got to shoot the ball more. I mean, he is a good shooter. You know, great coaches will always say, shooters, the less emotional you are, the better you got to be. And sometimes you got to take your misses as improvement points is, well, what a post move by Andre Emmett. Just back down, span in the fake, and then kiss it off the glass. As far as now gives it to Arnold, Arnold Louis. Well, Arnold Louis turns it over again. Now we got Pizarro in transition. Lay with my what? What a block. I mean, oh my goodness. Did you just see that by Suarez? Suarez went in transition, and he just denied Pizarro a free lunch. I mean, what a defensive effort. I mean, look at Suarez, not in my house. What a block. You got to love the effort. Denies him. And now Morales will inbound this one baseline. He gets into Pereira. Gets another handoff with Morales. And Pereira now takes it down the middle. Pump fakes. Bit of contact goes up. And Pereira, well, the tip in by Arnold Louis. And again, just using his athleticism very effectively. He ties it up at 11. Now moves to four points. Well, another turnover. We we'll keep it alive. And CD Los Animas just picking up the aggression on defense, making the passes difficult. Hands in the passing lane. Gilda now fades away with a tough one. Doesn't get it. Arnold Louis with a rebound. And now Morales in transition. Well, he's got Suarez to his right, goes to the left, pulls up for a three in the corner, can't get it. And now Gilda. Looks like he's going to take it himself. Gives up to Emmett. Emmett, bit of contact. Goes in with a finger roll. Smooth as you like. Finished there by Andre Emmett. Well, that's a lot better now for Capitanis to Arecibo. Just making it count in transition. As Andre Emmett now moves up to eight points. Down low to Pereira now. Pereira is going to back down against Lopez. Backs in. Lopez, hand in the lane. Goes up at it. Now that's a lot better by Pereira. He's going to go to the free throw line for two shots. Draws a foul on Lopez. Lopez now picks up his third personal foul of the game. I mean, he's going to have to go out. It looks like Rashawn Freeman's going to come into the game and give him a little bit of a breather. Well, it's not a great way to start the game when you pick up three fouls. Well, it looks like... Well, I have to look at the stat there. I mean, it did say that Lopez had three fouls, but I'll have to check that one. Well, that was incorrect. Sorry, Lopez has... Two personal fouls, not three. So a mix up there in the communication, but as Pereira now will shoot this free throw. Well, he makes the second one. And again, he's now five points into the game with his two post moves and that one free throw. Backs down in the lane now, gives up a little jump hook, doesn't get it. Suarez with a rebound. Suarez comes off the screen with Arnold Louis, time and space. He's got a wide open Arnold Louis. Can he pull the trigger? Doesn't go for it. Goes in the lane. Wasn't sure whether to shoot it or to kick it out, but again, Franco Morales draws the foul. Fouls on the ground now. It's a little bit of disorganization you see from CD Los Animas. I mean, great penetration by Arnold Louis, but he's got to kick that out to Suarez. Suarez already made one three. You got to get the hand in your best shooter. Morales now 14 on the shot clock. Gives up to Suarez. He's made one three. Takes another one. Well, good look there. Couldn't make it. And now Capitanis can push in transition with Rashawn Freeman. Pulls up for the three point. Doesn't get it. And now Cedilus Animas with Pereira. 
Pereira's going to go in the lane. Pereira, a bit of contact, goes up with it, off the backboard. There's a foul. Now that is Lopez's third personal foul, so he will have to go to the bench. A smart fast break there by Pereira, just taking it in, drawing the contact. Free throw shooting was pretty poor last night from CD Los Animas, but again, they're doing a good job at getting to the line. Well, he gets both free throws, and he puts him up by one now with three minutes to go here in the first quarter. There's a foul off the ball. Looks like it's on Arnold Louis or Pereira. I'm not too sure, but Pizarro was looking to make the post entry. And the officials just spotted something he didn't like. Puts it up, doesn't get it. Well, under the basket, got to go up with it. An easy finish by Wilfredo Rodriguez. Well, that's an easier lunch you'll ever get here in the Liga de las Americas. Morales gets a handoff now. Pereira crosses over. Well, you can see what he's doing. He's looking to get the ball inside, but more importantly, he wants to get that three point shot. If Pereira goes in with a hook shot, doesn't get it. Oh, Louis, what athleticism! Secures the rebound. It fades away from 15 feet high arc, way off the mark. And now Pizarro can push in transition. Well, turns it over again. Sloppy fast break. Morales gives up down the lane. Arnold Louis, bit of contact. No foul called. Well, that's a tough one to me. That's a foul. Villegas crosses over, kicks out. Oh, and it tries a three, doesn't get it. Rodriguez with a rebound. Got to go up with it. Gets a hand in the lane, and the foul is on Franco Morales. Rodriguez didn't feature too much last night, but again, not the foundation big man, but again, he can just come in and play as a cog in the machine, gets into good positions, he makes the first free throw. Two for two from the stripe now, as he puts him back up by three points. Curls the screen now, Suarez in the lane. What a finish by Suarez. Oh, he just hung in the air and gave it a finger. I mean, this guy's got so much tools in the bag. Again, you want to see him use it more often. Again, he's a very talented player, but Villegas now pulls up for a long two, sinks it right after dribble handoff. On the shot clock now, Morales has got to pull up for a parade. Made one yesterday, doesn't get this one. They don't secure the rebound. And now Pereira kicks out in the corner. Brandon Robson steps back, takes his time, wide up for three. In and out, can't get it. Well, just tucks it away and again. You can see they're just getting into good positions as Villegas now moves to four points. Well, 
five seconds difference now between the game clock and the shot clock as Brandon Robinson's going to isolate here with six on the shot clock. Steps back, tries another three, puts it up. Brandon Robinson, clutch city. Sinks a big three-pointer. Cuts it to a two-point deficit. Tries a three at the end of the first quarter. And at the end of the first one, it's Capitan is there a lead this one 21-19. to Well, look at this for a step back. I mean, that is a Kevin Durant-esque move one-on-one. -on -one. Sinks it. Even the shooting form looks like KD as well. And that is as it stands here at the end of the first. Well, now we start the second quarter with City Los Animas. We'll have the first possession. Morales now gives up to Brandon Robinson. Robinson's looking to shake and bake, crosses over. Oh, my Lord, in the lane, draws a foul. Brandon Robinson, again, we saw this in the group stage. We didn't see it last night, but this guy has to be one of the most exciting one-on-one -on -one players here in the competition. I mean, every time he's got the ball in his hands, he just shakes and bakes. He just knows how to beat a defender. I mean, he's almost like a Kevin Durant version here in the Liga de las Americas playing for CD Los Animas. Missed the first free throw. I mean, it's interesting as well. The way he shoots the ball looks very similar to KD. No doubt he watches a lot of videos, tries to portray his game off the great one. So he hits the second free throw. In the lane now, backs down, it's got to go up, but it's too easy under the basketball. No help side defense whatsoever. And he just greets himself, Rakeem Christmas. It's just commonly come into the end of the first quarter with an early look there in the low block. We're looking for the handoff now. Now that is a turnover because you can see comes off Jonathan Moore. That's great defense by Cintron, just putting his hand in the passing lane. Gets up to Villegas, down low to Christmas, gonna back down. And a traveling violation is called. Well, they turn it over here in the early stages. An interesting turnover there. Quick. 
Well, they get the three in the corner. The three is up. Robinson can't get it. Villegas gets a rebound. And now he can push and transition. Well, cross court to get a three. The three is up on the corner. The three is tucked away. And that is number 25, Ramon Cintron. Cintron, sorry. That's beautiful fast break basketball. I mean, they got a ball in the corner to a wide open shooter. And now Morales throws down to Brandon Robinson. Robinson looking to isolate. Well, here comes the help side defense. He's got to kick the ball out. Morales, deep three, way off the mark, air balls it. And that will go out of bounds and it will go back to Capitans to Arecibo. the screen now. Cintron's made one three already. You can see Brandon Robinson doesn't want to give him room, but in the end, he gets a shot up. Doesn't get it. Christmas gets the offensive rebound, goes up, and the big man just going to work. So he gives Capitano to receive an eight-point lead now We're in the early stages of the second quarter. The foul is called off the ball. Looks like it's on either Christmas or Cintron. Louis just going to go to the bench, take a bit of a breather. Well, three from Jay Moore doesn't get it. Christmas with a rebound. In and out move goes in, dish it off. Christmas with a throwdown. Well, what a build up play. And it starts with Ramon Cintron as he just dished it off, and it becomes a Merry Christmas in the lane. Well, we got a timeout now to CD Las Animas. We now trail this one by 10 points. Well, again, it starts with a shake and bake and in and out move. And he just dished it off to Christmas. Alondre right. Emmett still that top score with eight points. Christmas now with four rebounds and that monster dunk in the lane. All right, it's a dummy press one time, go back two, three. Okay, so then it's two, three this way. Danny and Raymond. Very good. Now we're gonna go triangle. Rakim, stay here. Okay? Raymond, Jovan, double screen and fix. Uh, Dennis, this way. Hey, it's coming, but he's coming right back. Got you fixed. Well, in the lane, Ramon Citron just takes him at his right, gives it up, and Feliz Navidad by Christmas with a throwdown. What a dunk! Well, gives out to Morales now. Looks like they're playing a 2-3 zone. This should be candy right now for CDLS Animus. Robinson in the lane, gives out to Morales. Morales, time and space, turns it over. And now Villegas in transition. Well, pulls up for a three. Was that the best choice? Clearly not. No rebounders. And again, that's a decision you got to make better there. I mean, you're up by 10, but got to slow it down. Get it into the half court. Well, zone pays off. Top of the key, off the backboard, doesn't get it. And now Capitanis to Arecibo. Can push this one in transition. Good ball movement. Rudd gives a handoff in the lane back to Victor Rudd. Rudd looking to isolate. Almost loses the ball. Kicks out. Cintron. And no one to pass to. Kicks out. Rudd's got to shoot a deep one. Takes a three. Doesn't get it. Well, they don't box out. A foul off the ball, looks like it's on Rashawn Freeman. Well, 
Russell comes off the screen now, kicks in the corner. It's got to shoot the three. The three's up from Cintron. Hits the top of the backboard, and that will not count. Over the backboard is an out-of-bounds violation. Underneath the bus, he's got to go up with it. And an offensive foul's called. And Freeman now just finding it very frustrated as he picks up his second personal foul of the game. Off one screen now has to reverse up to Rudd. Rudd throws it down a little Christmas. And now a third personal foul is called on Rashawn Freeman, so he's gonna have to go to the bench. I mean, he's picked up three fouls in literally less than four minutes. Again, the discipline of some of these players. You saw Lopez picked up three in the first quarter. Now Freeman's picked up three. Kicks out now in the lane. Villegas kicks out for the shot clock. Got to pull up from 18 feet. Doesn't get it. Robinson with the rebound. Robinson just keeps his hand alive. In with his right. Puts it up off the glass. Brandon Robinson. This guy is something special to watch. As he just isolates going to the basket. We got a timeout now. It's a copy time. It's there, Recibo. Well, just under five minutes to go here in the second quarter. As Capitanis, our receiver, hold on to an eight-point lead. Cintron now off one screen. Four the shot clock now. They got to get something going in the basket. Two left. Steps back. Takes a deep, deep three right at the end of the shot clock. Nothing but net. And it's cash money by Victor Rudd. Well, I mean, what a clutch time play. Just to do that at the end of the shot clock now. He's three for five from the perimeter. Well, Jonathan Moore now pulls the trigger, doesn't get it. Rebound by Victor Rudd. Oh, we got numbers in transition. Cintron. Back to Cintron, had the three, didn't take it. Again, this is good patient basketball now from Capitanes. Christmas now pulls up from 15 feet baseline, doesn't get it. Robinson with a rebound. Robinson dishes out. Pulls up for the three from the perimeter, can't get it. Rudd with the rebound. And now Dennis Clemente can just slow this one down. No need to rush it. 
Clemente now, time and space, in and out, and an offensive foul set. It's an illegal screen set by Rakeem Christmas. I mean, look at this for a step back. I mean, that is James Hodden written all over it, but the name is simply Victor Rudd. Remember the name, please. Now Jonathan Moore throws it down to Freeman. Freeman backs down against Rodriguez. Puts up a little jump hook way off the mark. He's got Emmett now to the center. And turn it over. Well, in transition, look ahead. Robinson, Euro steps all the way with the dunk. Brandon Robinson is just trying to lead a comeback. He gives it a little throw down. Villegas now gives up. Matias thought about the three. Down the wall. Beautiful basketball. Spots out Villegas. And it's an easy bounce pass and a layup. Well, where was the defense? Capitans that receive will just hold on to the 11 point lead now with 2.30 to go here in the second quarter. Comes off one screen now. Looking for the roll. Has to kick it out. So more and more tries another three pointer. Can't get it. Clemente crosses over, kicks out. Tries a three for himself now. Dennis Clemente can't get it. Well, it's got to be a backcourt violation. Brandon Robinson, deep, deep three. Brandon Robinson from downtown. Well, this guy is keeping CD Las Animas in the game with 11 points. Cross court pass now to Emmett. Emmett crosses over, takes it down. Got to go up with it. And one. He's going to go to the free throw line to make it a three-point play. Well, look at this. In the lane, easily throws it down. Well, look at this. Deep three. This is the KD of Liga de las Americas. It's Brandon Robinson. Well, Pereira comes back in the game, gives Jonathan Moore a little bit of a breather. Andre Emmett now is going to make this a three-point play. Put him back up by 11 points. Short on the free throw now. Doesn't get it. And now CD Las Animas. 140 going to chip into this double-digit lead. Robinson's made one deep three. Why not try another one? Brandon Robinson, are you serious? This guy has come out like a house on fire. This guy is cash money. And now Emmett's going to try and isolate against Robinson down the other end. Kicks out to Pizarro. Pizarro steps back. He's made one through already. Takes another one way off the mark. And now Robinson down the middle. Once he got in the tool bag, bounce past Pereira, turns it over. Well, Capitanis Arecibo keep this one alive in transition. Pizarro kicks in the corner. Emmett tries another three. Emmett puts him back up by 10 points. Well, Andre Emmett now, he moves up to 13 points with that tray ball. Capitanis Arecibo lead this one by 10 now with under a minute to go here in the second quarter. Robinson now looking to isolate. Every time he's got the ball, he's got one thing on his mind now. Splits the defense in the lane. No foul called. But it will be baseline ball to CD Les Animas with three and two tenths of a second to go on the shot clock. Well, we got a timeout now. And they're going to try and drop a baseline play here with 3.2 seconds on the shot clock, as we just mentioned. Back. It's going to be Hornside. 
Okay, hold it tight. We got three. Willie. Tommy Matia. Okay. Ball here. Make handle. Okay. Then you come up. You got a row. We play. All right, good on that. Hey, finish strong. Vamos, termina duro, hermano. Vamos. Three point two on the shot clock. We're not going to get the ball in to get it baseline. Robinson right at the end of the shot clock. Brandon Robinson. Oh my lord! This man is off fire. He is keeping CD Les Animus in this ball game. Well, it should be forty to thirty-three. So the score is incorrect, ladies and gentlemen. Eight seconds difference between shot clock and game clock. As Andre Emmett now is going to isolate. Crosses over, pulls up from 15 feet, and Andre Emmett can't get it. Offensive rebound, goes up with it, can't get it. And now Robinson, with a few seconds, splits the defense. Surely not, throws up a prayer, doesn't get it. And at the end of the first half, it is Capitanis Arecibo who will lead this one 40 to 32. Well, this was not a three-pointer, but just again, just how does he make these shots? Brandon Robinson, remember the name. I mean, this guy is just spectacular. But ladies and gentlemen, come back in literally 14 minutes for the second half of this final game here between these two teams in the semifinal stage of Liga de las Americas.
Joaquim, Pizarro, Oway, Ty Curl, I watch it. If you don't have anything, Joaquim, that's your first one. Second one is Vic. When you hit Vic, give me one more, but start inching in. Get Dre out. Come out aggressive. You don't have anything, then you post. Okay? On the post, Dre and Vic on the interchange. Okay? He's side is ready. You got shooter, shooter. All right? And then we work. So you got three of them. Okay? Then the next one. It's going to be you. 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 Rakim is here. All the Dre, UCLA, but then he's coming back to get Rakim here. Okay? Good on that. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We begin the second half now as Capitan Zarecibo will have the first possession. He'll lead this one by eight points. And Brandon Robson has been going off on a scoring spree in the first half. He's made some big, big three-pointers. Well, they're going to get the ball to Raheem Christmas now. I wonder who they call the foul on there, if it's on Pereira, if it's on... It looks like it has been called on Christmas... on uh, Pereira, pardon me. Get the ball inbound now to Gilda. Gets a handoff. Victor Rudd. Rudd give and go now. Down the lane. What a pass. Well, he missed a wide open layup. And now Brandon Robinson going to push this one. Gets his pocket picked. Well, Pizarro, great defensive effort there. Kicks out. Ball reversal. No. Good lazy pass. And it doesn't get a wide open look. But he'll shoot the three point and he'll tuck it away. Well, Capitanis Arecibo still coming out and shooting the ball very well. Fifty right now hits his third three of the game. Morales gets a handoff now, looking to take it in the lane. Oh, he's got time and space. He's got to shoot that. End of the shot clock. They get the shot off. It's no good. And now Pizarro can push in transition. Against sloppy play, just throws it away. Robinson now takes another one, doesn't get it. Well, what a rebound by Morales. I mean, smallest guy on the court just elevates and just rips that off the rim. And Pizarro looks like he's taking a shot in the process. And on the loop, wide open underneath the basket. Just sinks it from underneath. Now throws a lob up to Rakeem Christmas. Christmas now takes the lane, bumps, gets the foul now. He'll go to the free throw line for two shots. As the foul is on Pereira. And that's now his fourth personal foul, so he will have to go to the bench. Well, he's got no argument. I mean, he's got his hands all over his arms. I mean, it's a clear foul, so it's just a really... That situation, you just got to keep your hands up. I mean, he's beating you to the spot. Best you can do is put your hands up and force him into a tough contested jump shot. It's 
Christmas makes it one for two from the line. And puts Capitanis back up by 10 points. Robinson now in the lane, fades away off one foot and gets it to drop. Well, he's a one-man arsenal right now. As he now is, just picks up his 18th point of the game. In the lane's got to go up and it off the backboard. Can't get it. Rebound by Freeman. Morales now draws another foul on Pizarro. It's another first team foul now for Capitanis to Arecibo. Two quick fouls that they picked up in succession. So, Moran is doing a good job of causing a few nightmares for the defense. Well, it's a silly foul for Christmas to give up because now he picks up his third. Morales turns it over. He well, thought he was reaching there, but he span out. And only bumps, gives a finger roll, draws a foul now. Pizarro will go to the free throw line for two shots. That's a lot better now from Pizarro getting into the lane, just drawing that crucial contact as he went in for the layup. Makes the second free throw, and now it is an eight point ball game. Well, Freeman with time and space. Robinson goes baseline, kicks out, and again turns it over. Alonzo Louis wasn't ready for the pass. That's now the ninth turnover of the game in CD Los Animas. Down the middle, makes a bit of contact, fades away, doesn't get it. Freeman kills the rebound. Now Morales can push. Robinson gives back up to Morales, back to Robinson. We can see defense always in help side. They know Brandon Robinson's going to isolate. Gives up to Arnold Louis. Morales throws it away. Transition down the other end. Rudd goes up with it, missed the layup. They secure the rebound, and they just go up with an easy two. Gilda cleaning up off the offensive rebound. Baseline now with Freeman. Freeman's going to back down, spins around. Fouls on the ground, so there'll be no shooting on the free throw line. And another lackadaisical turnover. We saw a lot of those last night. This is very. Typical of Cedar Los Animas, while well, Pizarro goes all the way, makes a bit of contact, and Pizarro just goes coast to coast. And we got a timeout now by CD Los Animas, because they have not come ready to play here in the second half. As Capitanes Arecibo lead this one 49 to 36. Perdemos la pelota, volvemos a defender. 
Ellos reponen de fondo y nosotros corremos dos segundos detrás de ellos tarde. ¿Cuál es el problema si perdemos el balón? Vuelvan a defender. Tenemos que bajar la cantidad de pérdidas porque ahora ellos se están alimentando de las de la, de la pelotas que le damos nosotros. No perdamos la pelota, corramos los sistemas. Jugamos cinco, Franco, Juaz. Juli va a salir del lado de, de Arnold. And we want to play this situation, Arnold. ¿Ok? This situation. Kurt, or you receive the ball and play one and one. ¿Ok? When we play cinco. All right, remember. Yeah, you got to find them. All right. Yeah, yeah. So right now, next one. Willie Snow, Vic, Trey, Trey, Pizarro, UCLA, go get Willie, look at him, man. Well, they're going to a 2-3 zone now, and again, do you want to play that? Arnold Louis under the basket, goes in with a reverse slam, and just tucks it away. Well, 2-3 zone should be bread and butter for C.D. Los Animas to attack against him. I mean, you got perimeter shooters out there, but more importantly, they got the athleticism from Arnold Louis. Well, anytime he gets the ball in the low block, I mean, well, they go down low, the big man kicks out to Pizarro. Pizarro now five on the shot clock, crosses over. Down the lane, looking for another kick out, but he turns it over. Now Brandon Robinson, he's got options left and right. Kicks out to Morales, Morales down to Freeman. Freeman underneath to Arnold Louis. Well, gets rejected, no foul called. Now Gilda can give it up in transition. Rod cross court in the corner to Pizarro. Well, Emmett, sorry. Emmett fires a three, doesn't get it. Freeman scores a rebound. Morales gives up to Arnold Louis. Louis now, time and space, takes the three-pointer. Arnold Louis way off the mark. Takes him on his right, bit of contact goes up. Doesn't get the M1, but he's going to go to the free throw line now for two shots. Well, he makes the second free throw and he puts him up by 13 with just under four minutes to go here in the third quarter. And Victor Rudd now moves up to 11 points. It's two for two from the free throw line. Pass it to Freeman now. Freeman with Morales. Now Morales has been ineffective in this game. Hasn't really looked to get his shot going. Six on the shot clock now. Brandon Robinson ball in the hands of the right man. Can he isolate? Got to go up, steps in and around, puts up a little float, and Brandon Robinson, are you surprised? Surely not with me. I mean, he comes up with a circus shot, but it's still good. Robinson now moves up to 20 points. He's 8 for 12 from the field, 5 for 5 from within the rainbow, 3 for 7 from the perimeter. down the low block, gives a jump hook, doesn't get it. Freeman with a rebound. And now C.D. Los Animas can chip into this lead again. Well, Holtz just checked into the game. Gives up to Arnold Louis, steps back, kicks in the corner. Well, Morales gets the foul. Now he's going to go to the free throw line for three, three, three shots, sorry. 
Three three pointers, three free throws. Yeah, free throw shooting was poor last night and it continues to be poor from C. Los Animas. I mean, you got to make your free throws at this level. You never want to look back on the game and think the outcome could have been different had you made all your free throws, but the rally should do better. Comes off the screen now. Emmett now, time and space, heavily guarded by Suarez, falling the shot clock in the lane, goes up with a little teardrop, gets it to go. And a strong move by Andre Emmett, just taking it in the lane. Fouls on the ground, it's on Rodriguez. He just gives a slight push in the back to Freeman. It's a little bit better for Freeman now. As he looks to try and isolate himself in the low block. Just about gets the first free throw to go. And again, you think with a player like Freeman, the experience he's got, really he's out there as a veteran player. Very strong, just to secure a lot of rebounds. So he makes a two for two from the stripe. Can't see down to a nine point deficit. Now kicks out in the corner. Four on the shot clock. Got to get something going. Oh, throws it away. Nobody there. And again, should do a lot better. Kicks out the corner now. Suarez made one three. Getting caught at such an awkward angle. When you want to kick out to your best shoot, you got to give him good passes. On the Louis now takes in the lane. Takes himself in the paint. Can't get it. it probably wasn't the best shot they could have got. Whole transition kicks out. Suarez wide open in the corner. That's what he's good at. Second three of the night. I mean, this guy can shoot the ball, but again, it's about confidence, believing in yourself, and just doing what you're good at. And Gilda gives him a pump fake, goes baseline. Gilda throws up a wild floater. No foul called. And now Hulk can push and transition. Drills another foul. So he'll go back to the free throw line. And now, Seagulless Animus can cut this down to a four point ball game. Beautiful penetration, kick out. This guy will splash the cash because it's good from downtown. Tres puntos, por favor.
Well, misses both free throws. And again, free throw shooting has been very poor from both these two teams. Lane now looks for options, gives up to Rodriguez. Backs in, almost loses, kicks out. They get the three in the corner. The three is up. The three is good. Tucked away. Well, big, big shot at the right moment by Villegas. Villegas just lighting it up from the perimeter. Options left and right, finishes in transition. Beautiful fast break there by Capitanes de Arrecibo. And it's back to an 11 point game. See, Los Animas did cut it down to six points, but just see how quickly the lead gets bigger. Morales is off the screen, has got a wide open Suarez. Suarez got to shoot it, doesn't take it. This time does, well, no, he doesn't. Well, Freeman turns around, fade away. And at the end of the third quarter, it is Capitanes de Arrecibo who lead this one by 11 points. We now start the final quarter for these two teams in their last game of Liga de las Americas. Win or lose, both teams will go home. Well, Moore surely gets called for a double dribble. Okay, caught up in a tangle. Not sure what he was thinking, but it is a turnover. But of contact doesn't get it. He gets cool for the foul.
It's a handoff now with Jonathan Moore. Moore's got a wide open Suarez in the corner. Morales dish it off. They turn it over again. Now they can push in transition. Puts up a long one, doesn't get it. Pereira gets a rebound, a foul has been caught on Victor Emmett. Andre Emmett, sorry. Puts it up, gets the and one. And now he'll go to the free throw line for two shots. It's a strong most move, just takes him in the lane. A little bit of a baby jump hook and just gets it to drop. I'll make the three-point play now, but now Capitanes can push in transition. Well, Sintrom is wide open. Why didn't he give it to him the first time? And that's why you got to give it to him. I mean, he's one of your best three-point shooters. He's clearly wide open. Again, sometimes the decision-making from some of these players, you just got to think, you got to get the ball to the right place and hit the sweet spot. And right now, the bread and butter from the perimeter is Sintron. Jay Moore now tried another three-pointer, couldn't get it. Cintron now in the lane. Cintron, beautiful move, but he missed the layup. Morales now just deals with the pressure well. Comes up to Pereira. Pereira in and around. What a move. Well, completely full the defense. Villegas got mixed up. And now it's a 10-point ball game. Fischl's just swapping the ball for think over. Something's wrong with it. Steps back, Villegas, nothing but net. I mean, what a tough shot. This guy just knows how to get a shot off with a high release. So he puts Capitanes back up by 12 points. He now moves to 11, four for four from within the rainbow. And it comes off of Lopez, and Lopez is back in the game now. I mean, look at this. How do you block that shot? How do you make it any more difficult to stop him from scoring? I mean, you can't. You just got to put a taller defender on him. Robinson now gives up to Morales in the corner. Jay Moore goes baseline. Moore turns it over. He steps out of bounds. Well, it's been a frustrating night for Jay Moore. I mean, he hasn't shot the ball so well from the perimeter like he would have wanted to, but and you got to find other ways to chip in and score. And when it's not taken from downtown, they start going to the basket. Clemente now, a foul off the ball, looks like it's on Morales. Villegas in the lane, puts it up, and he gets the and one. And now he's going to go to the free throw line to make a three-point play. He now moves up to 13. The foul is on Brandon Robinson. Well, it's actually on Jay Moore. Sorry, it's not on Robinson. And again, what a beautiful little teardrop. Nothing but net. And we got a timeout now. As Capitan is leading this one by 14.
Va Arnold en el 4. Va Arnold, va, vamos a volver a correr los sistemas con él en el 4. Ahí, tranquilo. Entramos en el momento del juego donde no tenemos que equivocarnos. Per perdemos la pelota, pisamos la línea, malas decisiones, te sacan 12. Cuando salga de la bola tienes que volver a la pintura. Hey, 41 Yowe. Yowe. Vete del mismo lado de Yao. Chavo. Raymond, 41. Rey por debajo. Yowe por encima. Espera, hermano. Esto es un split y aquí viene Yao. Rodea y And 6.22 to go now. This Capitan has lead this one by 15. Morales comes off one screen, doesn't use it. Gives it to Arnold Louis. Going to shot clock now. Louis spins around two players, goes up, and he gets the M1. Again, just uses his athleticism to beat his man one-on-one -on -one and get into the lane effectively. I mean, look at this. Splits two defenders. Doesn't make the three-point play. And still a 13-point ball game now with six minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Little goes kicks out in the corner. Get the three in the corner. It's not on. Rebound by Robinson. Now Robinson hasn't been effective so far here in the second half. Louis now pulls up from 10 feet. Got to make it. Six it. Cuts to an 11 point ball game. And it looks like we got another timeout now. As Capitanes want to talk this one over. Lucas now kicks out in the corner, gets his pocket pick by Morales. Morales gives it to Donald Lou. He's got a wide open Suarez. Suarez finishes the transition. And one. Well, he's going to go to the free throw line now, cut this down to an eight point ball game. They've gone now on a 6 0 run here in the last two minutes. 
I mean, look at this for a fast break. I mean, he goes back out, starts with Franco Morales, gives up to Arnold Luis, spots up, Suarez in transition, gets the M1. It's one way to finish in and around the basket, to swerve around, finger roll off the glass. Clemente now picks up his third personal foul of the game. 5 to go in the fourth quarter. Suarez makes a three-point play, cuts it down to an eight-point ball game. Now Lopez in the low block, got it by Robinson. Down the middle, unstoppable. And we got to switch off the pick and roll, and again, nobody came down to double team. Robson kicks out to Suarez. Suarez goes in with his right, steps back, has to dish it off to Pereira. Pereira's going to have to take it in. And it gets knocked to the ground, no foul called. And it's another turnover. It takes it in, you can see hit. There's nothing in that, there's no foul called, surely. Lopez has his hands up. Would have been a crime against the game of basketball had they caught a foul there. Well, oh, surely not. Hits the front rim. Well, gets his pocket pick. Nobody talking to him. Rudd, no need to rush this one now. Four minutes to go. They lead this one by ten. Well, he'll pull the trigger, gets the foul. The foul's on Arnold Louis, so Victor Rudd will shoot three free throws now. Well, lackadaisical, lackadaisical defense there by Arnold Louis, just overreached on the shot. Makes the first free throw, puts him back up by 11 now. He's three for three from the free throw line. He's got 12 points in the game. He started off well, hitting the first two three-pointers in the first quarter. Since then, CD less animus. Closest they've got has been six points, but now it's back to a 13-point deficit. Morales now comes off one screen, gives up to a wide open Arnold Louis, takes the trigger from the perimeter, nothing but net. Cuts it back down to a 10 point ball game. Well, if he caused the 13 point lead down the other end, he made amends for it with that three pointer. Billy <laughs> throws it down with Lopez now, got it by Pereira, kicks out. Rudd had the three-pointer, takes in the lane, pulls up from 10 feet, doesn't get it. Robinson with a rebound. Robinson picks up his dribble. Morales in the lane, dish up. Arnold Louis goes up, no foul called. Well, something's wrong with the basketball again, but... That was the three by Arnold Louis. And just let it go from the perimeter. Nothing but net.
Rodriguez now looking for a handoff. Villegas well, had the three-pointer. Looks like it came out of his hand, but Emmett fades away in the lane. Gets it to drop right at the end of the shot clock. And that is a dagger to the hearts of C.D. Los Animas, who turned the ball over again. In the shot clock again now. He's got to shoot it. 24 second violation. In the professional basketball, someone's got to be aware of what's on the clock. And they got to shout it out. Louis made one three, takes another one. And cuts it down to a nine point ball game with under two minutes to go. Billy goes down the middle with his left hand, kicks out. Well, why not? Rodriguez takes a three pointer. Top of the backboard. Goes out of bounds, and it will be CD Los Animas ball. Well, a minute 30 to go here in the fourth quarter. So Recibo still leads this one by nine points. Brian Robinson down the middle. He gets away with a travel. Turns it over. Well, amazing. This guy was unstoppable in the first half. But again, doesn't look like the second same player in the second half. Backs down, gives a little jump hook, gets his own rebound, goes up, and buenos noches. That might be all it there, ladies and gentlemen, with a minute to go as they lead this one by 11. And now moves to 19 points, 7 for 16 from the, from the field. Brandon Robinson, deep, deep three, and that's the Brandon Robinson we saw in the first half.
in the lane. Gets the jump shot in the M1. Well, he's going to go to the free throw line now as Emmett now moves to 21. 8 for 17 from the field. Look at this in the lane. Fades away with the circus shot. And he just gets that little Christmas ball to drop. Well, it makes a three point play. Emmett now 22 points and ladies and gentlemen congratulations to these two teams for having a great season here at Liga de las Americas as it stands though it will be Capitanis Arecibo who will be going back to Puerto Rico with a victory well great season for both these two teams they performed very well lucky here in the semifinal stage but at the end of this one it is Capitanis Arecibo 78 CD Las Animas 69 will stay with us now for the final game of the group as later on it will be San Lorenzo de Magro. The champions taking on the two-time champions, Guaro Stellara. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back for the next game here in 40 minutes.